find the key. Hey everybody, welcome back on another more about review. Let's see, new Bonnie, this is a console game. Gold three, player says standard performance, finally had good teammates. I'll go in aggressively depending on the team, how the tank plays, usually hang with the tank. Not sure where I'm going wrong. The match poorly. Let's see. It was one game from being Masters and the reset is demoted to Platinum. Been stuck there for a few seasons. This season I've dropped all the way to Gold 3. Uh, just kind of my standard plug since the rank reset. All of the ranks have been pushed down. We should go... <laughs> We should move out. Uh, yeah, all the ranks have been pushed down, and it's it still hasn't completely gotten back to where it was, and it may not ever. Um, there are plenty of previous high GM people that are in low masters and diamond, uh, just based on my personal experience. So, you know, that trickles down. Okay. The other thing that affects that, it definitely affects me, but it affects everyone, uh, even if people don't think it does, is, um, turn my volume down a little bit. If you're losing too much all at once, you need to stop playing, or stop playing comp, or do something. Um, it's really easy to get in these, like, cycles, where you're not playing at 100%, and then you end up losing a lot, right? This game is very mentally draining um you can't do it for a long time so what i've seen so far is we haven't really been contributing anything uh and we've also 100 percent been standing out in the open we just ran up the middle of the open area we didn't get punished for it okay because it looks like you guys had a pretty strong attack um and then since then we haven't really been doing anything right one of the things about moira is that if you play passively with her, you, you can't rank up very high, unfortunately, right? You can't just exist with her. Uh, that was an excellent coalescence, right? So that was that was definitely a good play. I like that. You get, you're get you staying here and keeping ahead of the fight. But the two major things I'm seeing so far, the two major things I typically see around this rank, is one, that we're standing completely in the open area. Okay. We stand still a lot. And I'm sure that's probably, I don't know, again, I, I don't have much console experience. Um, so I don't know what difference that makes. That said, I've seen some higher rank console players and they, they don't stop moving. They just keep moving, just as I would. Um, so our, our positioning is probably getting us in trouble because think about it from this perspective. What can you accomplish here that you can't accomplish from here? Okay. So, it, now let's just assume they didn't have a D.Va. Because if you're here, where's the enemy team going to contest? Just like every enemy team, they're going to come right here. So, hold this wall, shoot a damage orb here, and it goes directly into them. Without you ever having to see them. Okay. So, that's... That's a big thing. I'm sure this is going to get us in trouble more. Um, and then the first part, basically up until that coalescence, we hadn't really contributed anything to the team. Okay, Just healing and sending out damage isn't good enough, right? Because every support can do that, right? The catch is every support, or almost, you know, the other supports have some really powerful abilities that Moira doesn't have. You can't afford to just heal and damage. Right. When I shoot my orbs, if you see any of my gameplay, um, sometimes you'll see me completely just stop everything I'm doing, aim the orb, and then shoot it. Because uh, even with thousands of hours of Moira experience, I still sometimes have to just stop and aim my orb right so let's do that so once again yeah we're, we're kind of just back here existing okay so what what i'm where would i be in this scenario 
It it depends. I would at least go this way once just to see what they do, uh, especially in this rank. People don't necessarily use the high ground that often. So basically below diamond, uh, below plat-ish, I'll say. Um, high ground's like an automatic win. If you're if you're in gold or below, if you if you use cover and use the high ground, like that's like ninety percent of what you need to get out of gold. Okay. The rest of it's just timing and ensure you don't feed. Okay. So, especially because they have a diva, my goal is to be in a place where she's not. Or she's not looking at me, right? And this would actually be pretty powerful because you can shoot a damage orb there and it's going to go this way. Now there's a catch. They have a junk rat. So if I get, if he pushes me up here or I know he's up here, I'm not going up there. Okay. Not going to do that. But they did just redesign this map. And I like going over to this mega sometimes. And now you can do it without having to go upstairs. So I would like to be, let's say the junk rat was pushing me out or he's challenging me because right when you guys captured the second point, he was up here, right? So this, this is where I would be otherwise, right? And this is a place you can get to right now because it's okay to fade from here to there and then not have your fade, right? Because when you peek out, nobody's going to be looking at you. And by the time they do, you're going to have fade again. Right? So you can, you can get out, especially now that there's multiple exits out of here, okay? So I'm always going to be looking for these types of angles and go from there. That said, they're in a Kitsune rush, and based on where you guys are, you could take advantage of her shitty Kitsune rush and just kite it, you can just walk backwards. You're not, your team's not gonna do that because they're gold, they're not, they don't know, right? And that's whatever, because remember, um, I never look at, I, I like talk shit about the teammates sometimes or when people are making stupid plays and I see stuff, um, But for the most part, I, I'm not going to focus on your teammates as why they did or did not do something, okay? Because mostly I I can't control them, right? You can't control them. So when you're playing, you can only do what you can control, right? So that's the only, only thing to focus on. So... This is, this is the team you have, right? She didn't take the two seconds that it takes to get rid of that da the um, Discord. Because that's gold, right? You can't expect higher ranked gameplay out of lower ranked players. I feel like we probably could attract her a little better. That's why I keep her whining. But I, it's also probably probably wouldn't have been enough either way. Um, yeah. You guys killed the killed the diva, right? When she was no, no, no. That was the um, that was Kiriko. Yeah. And honestly, this is fine. Just die. Get back with your team. Your brig staggering herself. Okay, it's a gold brig. She's gonna do gold brig shit. I've been meaning to make kind of like maybe a video about this. I post about it every now and then. Uh, but I try to show people that it is mathematically impossible for your team to be holding you back. Since this team always has five variables of, of whether or not you get good or shitty teammates. But your team always has four, right? Because you're the, you're the other person. So over time, because there's always the games where you're just going to get shit on no matter what, right? Over time, that works in your favor. If you are improving. Okay. So. The off-angling we, we were doing there, that's good, right? Like, did, you, you see, this guy's, a, this guy's a fucking idiot, and you're taking advantage of it, right? So, yeah. Your stupid Arissa might run in with Discord Orb. Your brig might stagger herself, right? but they're fucking junk rat just standing out in the open <laughs> and uses his tire, right? Everybody's doing dumb shit. You sit like that while well, she accidentally ate it there, but 
if if you engage just off to an angle, man, she got another bomb already. Holy shit! <laughs> this this comes down to the fact that you didn't need to be on the on the objective. There's no reason for you to be out here. This is the case on all maps, but if you control or are trying to flip a neutral or enemy controlled objective, right? So neutral is like this, like it's just sitting there. If a, while you're on it, if a single enemy touches it, it stops all progress. So that means until there are no more enemies, you have no reason to be out here because it's not going to go anywhere. But it's like the worst position, right? Because it's just out in the open. That was another good coalescence, by the way. You see? Like... So the... That's not going to fucking go away, is it? <laughs> you see how your, your sojourn's over here? This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff, right? Because she could back around this corner or go in here to cover, right? And she's at an angle. And your Lucio's over here. These are really powerful angles. Okay? This is the worst place to be. If you're close to the, you know, finishing the fight or whatever, if your tank is on it, okay, that's that's fine. But I, I'm not going to be there. Okay? I like this. Honestly, with, with this map, I always try to stuff one of the doors. Because there's a really good orb spot in here, right? So you can shoot a damage orb at the floor and then go over to the other one or do, do whatever. There's all kinds of shit you can do, right? But not be out in the open. They have a diva, so it's probably not that big of a deal, but I always shoot an orb against this bus. Even though their spawn is closer now, it's the same thing. I just change the timing on when I shoot it. See? I mean, they're doing dumb shit. People are... Your sojourn's going in alone. Everybody's going to do dumb shit, right? But the thing is, is they're... Like, their zen is really just running you guys over. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. In this instance... Yeah, that's about the best you can do. Just try and get out. Um, yeah, your team was in a shitty spot. If, But how you react to that... Somebody left. Are they coming back? Okay. I'm not going to talk about the part where they're not here. Re but... I, talking about... Like, so where you were was on that high ground. Yeah, that's great, right? That's a good place to be, but your tank's not up there. So when their D.Va comes around in the corner, you have to get out of there. You didn't. You, you faded and then stayed on that platform. You needed to get to cover and away from the enemy team, right? And then from wherever your cover is, then you attempt to help your team, pressure their team. Okay, we can hear this Zenyatta, and he is just running your team over. I would go kill this fool right now. Oh, he's got, what, 12 health? Please tell me somebody turns around and kills this dude. Okay, you guys finally react to him. Because okay. I can hear him... Sh and, and this is... I have my volume really low, and I'm yapping. I can, And I can still hear him. So just like there's no reason to be on it on attack, there's no reason to be it on defense either. Yeah. If they're moving this, it doesn't really matter. Because okay. you guys already capped three, right? Now, just like with everything else, Overwatch, there's no absolutes here, right? Like, the closer they get it, the closer it is to capping, right? But I am not going to sacrifice myself for whatever is going on here, right? So if somebody's going to contest the payload, fine, but it's not going to be me, right? Usually it's going to be the tank, but the big thing you want to do is keep them away from it. Because okay? they're trying to do the same thing to you.
That's a good orb. I like the angle of that. I do that same one. So that Zen was running over your team, right? But he's doing gold Zen shit. Okay. What the gold Zen does is he charges his volley and then stands out here while it's charging and then shoots it and then eventually tries to get back to cover or just fucking stands there, right? Or floats there, whatever. Okay. That's that's the gold Zen. Just you take advantage of that shit. Now it's harder for you because they have a diva. And in this instance, probably not the best angle, but I am probably going to go dick around with them because that's me. If we have stuffed this corner and you feel like you, you aren't contributing anything meaningful to this, I'm going to fade and I'm going to make my way over here and I'm going to flank them because if they start pushing you over here, if the diva pushes you, that's the best thing because you can fade out and then it's going to open up their squishies and your tank's going to come in and kill them all. Okay. If these two turn around... Now, your now their tank is the only one looking at your team, and your team is looking at their tank. Right? So that's also good. And then, if they don't turn around, you just do damage to them. Right? Put the enemy team in a position that no matter what they choose, it's the wrong answer. And doing stuff like that, that's a really long rotation. But they are down two players, and this is when you do it. Um, I feel like we over ulted there. You know, I, I'm I'm a big proponent of not sitting on your ultimate, but when when your team just starts shitting ults, that's the like one time I'm probably gonna hang on to it. Or if we cast ults and it seems like we're losing the upper hand. So once again, you have another opportunity here to do a big rotation, right? When they're stuck here, you need to put them in a bad spot, right? And now we don't have our now we don't have our ultimate, right? So they, if you look at all the percentages, their ultimate economy is better than yours. And this happens a lot in gold, where teams will blow ults on lost fights. In fact, that's one right there, right there. That was the perfect example. Dude just fucking runs into all five of you and ults and dies, right? So that's what I'm saying. You can blow your ult economy and then two seconds later, they're gonna fuck up and do the same thing, right? Again, that's gold shit. But I would have rather seen you hold your ult for the next fight in that instance because they did have the ult advantage. They fucked up, but as I've said multiple reviews, you don't want the enemy's mistakes be the reason why you win. You wanna win because you're better than them. There's another dumb one. And then there's another dumb one, right? It's it's stupid decision after stupid decision in here. Okay. The only way you're going to get around this is by not being one of them. Okay. So right now, we're staggering ourselves. This guy can run fast. He's just going to kill you. Okay. All we did was just make it take longer to die. And I know it's instinct to try and survive and get out and whatever. Um... But that, this, that hurts the team. And it especially hurts lower-ranked teams because they have no fucking clue what you're doing because they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. They have no idea. So you staggering yourself and then going back to spawn, they're just going to carry on business as usual. Okay? They're going to engage. They're going to stand in the... They're going to do all the dumb shit that they do regardless of whether you're there or not. Okay? I I only hesitated here because like I'm good with this ult. It's just I'm always really hesitant to use my ult on a half health tank. That said, 
he's standing in the middle of the open. He's the only one you guys can see. So all five players are looking at him. Okay. He was going to die anyway. That's why I'm kind of like, eh. But you ended up getting some decent value out of that because they just stood there and took it. Okay. I don't think that Nana was intended for her. <laughs> That's... Honestly, I like how they re reacted to that, though. A lot of people, if they get nano accidentally, they'll try and make something of it, right? And then they go fuck up and die. Okay. Moira's really good at cock-blocking nanos. Just sucks. We're very mobile. Um, if, on any hero, honestly, in any role, if I get nano and I'm not in a good spot to use it, okay, just let it run out. See? Fucking up. They haven't, like, they haven't had a decent ult in 10 years because they keep fucking them up, right? I don't even... Oh, yeah, the, the, the Ana nanoed the... Oh, shit, you can save yourself there now, too, huh? Their Ana nanoed him, and then he got s slept while nanoed. And then trying to cast his ultimate, right? That one, one sleep canceled two ultimates. Because everybody's just standing in the fucking open. So again, right, I, I'm I'm pointing a lot of this shit out because you specifically said something about your team, and I, I want I want to highlight that yeah your team's doing dumb shit, but the enemy team's doing a ton of dumb shit. Okay, a ton of dumb shit. Okay, so big picture here. I know I went over uh, 15 minutes. Um, big picture here. There was a lot of standing out in the open. For sure. A lot of standing out in the open and not using cover when we need to. Okay. That is, that's number one thing that we need to work on. Number two is finding value. And what I mean by that is all the times I, I talked about where you should be at a different angle because you're not contributing, look for those different angles. Okay. Every map has them and every section has them. You need, you just have to get an idea of what that looks like right because as i said when you're holding this corner i like going over here especially because they they don't look this way before they come out and especially these players they're not gonna fucking look over there they'll look when you start damaging that's fine but like this anna you could pick on her because both of their supports don't have mobility right so you come around here your beam goes that far you tickle her a little bit throw a damage orb over here behind the diva so you can get more value out of it and what will happen is both of them are going to turn to look at you okay well if they turn to look at you and she sleeps you just got to go behind cover right that's it and if you're just happen to be too far away from cover when she casts it you can fade it too you have to react a lot faster but it's the same concept right you want to pull their attention because guaranteed, this diva, no clue what's going on behind her. Guaranteed. Okay. So look for those opportunities to find to find that value. And then the last thing is is understanding when you should really be using your ultimate. Making sure we're not over ulting. Like a lot of your ultimates were good, right? In fact, I would say that's the strongest thing about your gameplay here was that the good ultimates you had were really good. Okay. We fudged to some of them, and not every ultimate I have is perfect. Right? But now that you can see that stuff, it's just another place where we can improve that much more. Okay. So get out of the open, use cover, get off the payload, take angles. Use fade to get to those angles. It's okay to do that. Okay. And then ensure every action that we're doing, we're getting value from it. So, like, you know, if you're casting your ultimate into nobody, stuff like that. So, uh, I have seen much worse offenders at this rank. So, um, I wouldn't worry about that much yet. Uh, definitely, we got to work on our positioning first. So, okay. Good stuff. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.